What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. So we got some Blazers news. Um, as you can see in this thumbnail, there's a lot of speculation out there, according to Sham Sarania and others, that um, Jeremy Grant is going to be seriously pursued by the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, and I have seen Blazers fans reactions to this and I just want to say calm down guys you know what I'm saying um, Jeremy Grant is a very good player and he's also a player that should be pursued by the Blazers if you all are talking about them becoming championship caliber um, you know um, just depending on what the, pay, the, the Pistons are trying to get in return is what I really care about. You know what I mean? Like, if they are trying to ask for too much, then you go on to, like, something else. Because there are other options. But to not pursue this option is going to be a problem if they're trying to go for championship contention. Jeremy Grant definitely would help with that. Um, he's a guy who just put up 40 on very efficient shooting against um, the Cavs his last time out um, so and he goes 7 of 9 from 3 he's shooting 70 or 36% from the 3 point land this year um, averaging 19 and a half points um, 2.4 assist a steal and a block and I think those numbers in particular the assist, the steals and the blocks will go up in Coach Billis scheme and I feel like he would be a much more efficient offensive player in Coach Phillips' scheme as well. So pump the brakes on that, man. Like, he's definitely a good option. Um, but there are definitely others that I would like them to pursue as well. But also, in other news, this Nurkic situation, um, very upsetting situation that Nurk has went through um, and it's another slap in the face to the NBA when it comes to these heckling fans you know what I'm saying um, if I'm not mistaken just last week there was a fan that got into a little altercation with Russell West Westbrook you know what I'm saying in a game calling Westbrook like these fans man they're getting out of hand now should Nurk have thrown the fans phone um no but when you understand what the fan was saying to him talking about his mother and his grandmother that's a problem to me that's a huge problem uh, and i've not seen anything out there that's saying that the nba is going to reprimand this fan and he should not be ever able to come to any more games period um, it was clear that he was under the influence of alcohol and who knows what else you know what I'm saying and this that type of thing is not okay man you gotta understand that the players need to be feel safe as well you know what I'm saying like you can't just go and cater only to the fan that fan needs to suffer massive consequences and him being banned from sports events period should be the message that the NBA has for these fans that want to play around with the emotions of a person um, with these players like that. Because that's not okay, man. That's not okay. Not at all. And any fan that thinks that that is okay and that this fan shouldn't be banned from sports events, you have an issue. And that's a deep-rooted issue. But also in other news, it's been reported um, via multiple media outlets that Dame Lillard is going to be out for the rest of the season, but he's making excellent progress. Um, he's looking very strong in, um, you know, his workouts and whatnot. And that's beautiful to hear. You know what I'm saying? Rest up, heal up and prepare for next season, because it's looking like the Blazers are definitely going to be major players in free agency they're going to be major players in the draft you know what i'm saying so things are definitely looking very optimistic for the blazers right now you know what i'm saying with the offseason coming draft coming um, i'm very excited for what the blazers could be 
Um, I definitely wanted to speak on last night's victory a little bit, the 119-115 victory over the Pistons that saw the Blazers lose a huge lead, but huge lead, but finished very strong. And they were led by the 23 points of Brandon Williams, who also goes 11 of 11 from the free throw line. Um, Trenton Wofford was in there making some huge plays down the stretch. Um, Justice Winslow making huge plays down the stretch. Um, the defense was very good. Um, they were causing havoc, um, disrupting the Pistons pretty much all night, and except for that run that they went on, of course. But of course, it's the NBA, so teams are going to go on runs. And Cade Cunningham and Sadiq Bey are very good young players, man. Pistons definitely have something to look forward to with those guys. And then um, hearing that news also that we might end up getting or swapping like Jeremy Grant for a package and whatnot. I, I'm, that's exciting for, for both teams, in my opinion, because the Blazers are looking to, to compete for a title while the Pistons are looking to build around Cade and Sadiq Bay. You know what I'm saying? Add some guys um, and then having that extra draft pick that can definitely change the dynamic of their team right away, you know? Um, through the draft because that's what they got to do right now but other than that man I thought the Blazers played a very good game um, last night um, and they did what they needed to do but I don't really have too much else on this one this is your boy P Money tell me what you guys think and I'm off this